Hey guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you all how to make a shirt for Roblox. So, I I use this, this is like the only thing that I use, I don't know how to use paint.net. That's the main thing that people use, but it costs money, so I, I don't use it. This is totally free, but I was free, um, and it's called Photopia. Just go to photopia.com, and it should bring you, automatically bring you to screen like this, no logins or anything. Then, next thing you want to do is you want to go to... You want to type in Roblox create shirt template create shirt. It sounds a little bit weird, but trust me. Then you want to click on the first one and wait for it all to load in. Then you want to click on this one on the side. I'm using Bing. I don't know how this would work on Google, but you just need to find one with checkers in the background and that should work. Then you want to right click the screen, copy image, and go to paint, Photopia, and then click Control V and you should have your image. And it's totally transparent, so yeah. Next thing you need to do is you need to go to Roblox Create, or you need to go search up a color that you might want for your shirt. Then you want to copy image, then go back to Photopea, and click Control V. Now don't freak out because it's covering the entire screen. All you have to do is you have to bring layer one down to here. Now, so these, this part right here at the bottom, can't really see it that good, but this part at the bottom would be your arms, and all of these things would fold in into one box. So this part is going to be your body, this part's going to be your arms, and that's how that works. So you can do like arm designs on here, and yeah. So with this white thing, now let me turn this off real quick. So you you might not even be able to scale it around or anything like I just did. It might just be stuck here and you don't know how to do anything. Well, first you would bring this down to lay it to under the background layer. Then, if you wanted to scale it so it could show like just your hands, then you'd go to um, transform it controls or transform controls and check it. And then it allows you to scale it down and up. So I think I'm gonna have like a short sleeve t-shirt, so it's going to go up to about here, probably. Maybe a little higher. And then, next thing you want to do, like, let's say you want to add a logo onto it. So, um, let's see here. So now, we're going to search up, we're going to do a Supreme shirt. Um, Supreme. And, okay. We're actually going to search up logo PNG. Make sure it's PNG or else it really work that good. Then images, and I'm going to use this first one, I think it works. Yeah, so it has these little checkers in the background, so it'll work. Right click it, copy image, then you want to go to Photopea again, control V, and you should have this, this next layer. And I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, this is giant. We don't want that. So I'm going to try and figure out where is the logo. Uh, try and scale it so it's a little bit easier to actually see what's going on here. <laughs> wow. This thing is big. Holy crap. Okay, yeah. Here's the logo. So scale it down some more until it actually fits on the shirt. down to the right size here. I think that's thin enough. We just need it to be... Okay. It's dead center. I think it's good. I wish you'd scroll in with this thing. Okay, so. Now that we've done that, it's this shirt is pretty much done. It's quite simple. I think what we're probably going to do is we're going to add maybe like a little jacket around it. Like, let's see here. I want to do, I forgot what it's called, a plaid, um, like, shirt around it. Plaid. I think that's how you spell it. Plaid texture. Okay. Images. Uh, I think this will work, yeah. Copy image. Then we're gonna bring it up to 
bring it over to Photopea, Control V. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring it under background layer. Yeah, there we go. So now you can see it over the jacket. Um, we're gonna have to move this under this. There we go. So we're gonna cover up this logo a little bit. Edit, undo. Go back, it's back to that spot. Um, layer. Okay, I'm gonna scale this down to the size that I want it to be. Okay, control V. Actually, I'm gonna use a different plaid because this one's kind of tilted just a little bit. Um, let's see here. I think this will work. Copy image, where is it? Copy image, okay. I'm gonna go back to here. And yeah, that'll work. Okay, I'm gonna scale it down so it's kind of small so it looks like it looks good. Hmm, maybe not. I don't, I don't know. I don't think I like that. Okay, I'm just gonna have it be a regular Supreme shirt. Regular. I cannot speak today. Um, and yeah, so then, next thing you would do, once you're, once you're done designing your shirt, you would go up to here and click on File. Then you'd go Export As, PNG, and then you'd just click Save. Give it a couple seconds to load. Okay, then, next thing you'd need to do is you need to open up a tab of Roblox. Give it a second to load. Uh, crap, that's the wrong thing. Okay, so I'm just gonna search up Roblox. 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 Okay, I'm on my account. Then you'd click Create. Then you'd scroll all the way down to shirts. I'll make another video on, on pants making, but for now we're just gonna do shirts. So, you wanna click shirts. Then you want to go to choose file. Then you'd go to downloads. And you'd click one of these images. So I'm gonna check the time to see what time it was made at. So it's made 129, the shirt was. Now I can't make a shirt because I don't think I have enough Robux for it. Yeah, I only have one Robux, but what you do is you upload it, and then it should pop up to here in, in these categories. Um, then what you should what you need to do is you'd need to click this thing on the side and you'd click configure. Then you would type a name you want for it, and you would pick a genre. You don't have to. Um, you could do, like, let's say you made a scary looking shirt, you could, you'd click, pick horror. Or if you made, like, a military jacket, you might click military. Then, the next thing you do is you click sales, and a thing should pop up on your screen, should say something like, you know, you have unsafe changes, you just want to click save. And then, it'll open up this, and you can, you gotta, so it, it, normally this will be off, but you want to turn that on. I usually set my price to 15 Robux, so when they buy it, I get 10 Robux, and it allows me to make another shirt. Um, then you'd click save, and you're pretty much all done after that. And then, next thing you can do is you can go to avatar, and um, just to make sure that, you know, your shirt worked, then you can, like, equip it or whatever. Also, um, another YouTube channel that I'm trying to help grow, I don't have, <laughs> they have more sub subs than I do, but... I'm just kind of helping them out. I made some merch for them. They're Raynor. Um, so you guys should go sub to them. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it.